one of my favourite memories of Australia, performing at uh, an Irish music session at the Corkman. The Corkman has gone since, but the session continues at the last jar led by the mighty Paddy Fitzgerald, a box player from East Clare. Great, great session. So this one is for my many uh, musical friends who no doubt are missing the joy of playing at Irish sessions. It's called uh, Letting Loose the Major. So, and it was prompted by a story told to me by my Auntie Maureen, who uh, described uh, a situation in a Kilkenny pub that uh, when a session got out of hand and uh, she was summoned to staunch the blood. So, letting loose the major. It refers to the fact that typically at Irish music sessions, the musicians play sets of perhaps three reels and the middle one off times in a minor key and then when they kick into the finale in a major key it seems to awaken something of the animal in the listeners and they yelp whoa you anyway letting loose the major the jigs intoxicating hornpipes swell in a flood but when a rake of tunes reels round the room there's something in the blood I face the music every day, she waits at the top of the road to watch me climb up Ballabay, downcast with my heavy load. The postman, bringing letters, her sole contact with the world since summoned home from boarding school when Nan was just a girl. Now it's <laughs> correspondence courses and pen pals near and far, glossy magazine subscriptions, tidbits of movie star to while the long grey evenings through her father's fitful sleep or Duggan's living nightmare her lonely vigil keeps. And early every morning she's waiting at the gate while yonder stands her father, crippled by his hate. He'll not set foot on this property, by Christ, not while I draw breath. Them bastards should have killed me. I'd sooner that, I, death, than living out this hollow land and knowing shame and pity. But, Nan, what hurts my hell on earth that I've brought you down with me? Oh, the jigs intoxicating, hornpipes swell in a flood, but a rake of tunes reels round the room there's something in the blood years ago in the snug with his cronies Duggan riding for a fall and the men kept sending in whiskey softening him with alcohol and I hadn't wholly subscribed to the plot but my god was the almighty keg and what harm so long as the porter flowed and <laughs> what harm in taking him down just a peg for he was renowned in county and town for being a rake among men, but no man dared face up to him while Duggan was safe in his den. But he'd charmed the birds from the branches. Great man for the song and the crack, a strap of a fella at dances, man of the match at centre half back. He had married a girl from the city. She was gone in a year and a day and left him to raise their daughter Nan with her mother, cold in the clay. When Nan then won that scholarship for the poetry that she'd wrote and went away to boarding school, then Duggan went to sow his oats. <laughs> a man among men and among women <laughs> who succumbed to his sad tale and opened their arms and their hearts to him and divil a one but he'd nail. The first time... There were sniggers, some poor young one shamed and gone. But he trespassed into knickers where poor men don't belong. A girl's life ruined for the last time, mister, said a man in a derby hat. He's ruined my family and my sister, said a man in a tweedy cap. And the men scowled out from under hats and caps and wind-blown hair. They didn't care tuppence he'd get his comeuppance, but... Duggan was devil may care. So I turned the session up a notch and the heads leaned in to savour the key shift from E minor, letting loose the major. 
and the music boiled in a cauldron that I stirred with my eyes tied shut, my ear to the fiddle but my nose to the ground for something felt in the gut, something that made me uneasy, something that hung in the air. So I slipped into a slip jig with a bit of a twist and a flare and the mood swings with my elbow. I am conducting the whole of the room, yeah. I had the power to dictate the hour Duggan would meet his doom. Yeah, the jig's intoxicating, horn pipes swell in a flood, but a rake of reels, bows and needles to something in the blood. I'm seldom seen at sessions now and only play a storm for nubile girls at feshes who kick higher, yeah, perform. The snowy-breasted pearl I'll play, all in the dead of night in my lone room, caress that tune in flickering candlelight. And still, I ride my bicycle. I'm postman to this day and daily deliver letters high up on Bala Bay, where Nan waits there at the top of the road, grown old before her time, and shames my share of punishment an accessory to the crime. For I brought this curse upon them on that accursed night when I had orchestrated and my fiddle bow took flight. The razor flashed, dug and thrashed and then took it like a man while the men took his manhood from him and the dreams from his daughter Nan. Yeah, the jig's intoxicating. Horn pipes swell in a flood but a rake of reels, bows and kneels to something in the blood, something there that's bubbling and hungry to be fed. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, reeling in my head. A girl's life ruined for the last time, mister, said that man in the derby hat, but <laughs> life is a bit of a twister, a bit of a tit for tat. For Nan, Duggan's daughter, high up on Bala Bay, one last... Young girls, life in ruins, and I must daily pay, facing the music, touché. For that night I orchestrated, and I couldn't keep in tow, and I couldn't stop the savages, I couldn't stop the bow. I had turned the session up a notch, though full well known the danger, the key shift from E minor, letting loose the major. Oh, the jig's intoxicating. Horn pipes swell in a flood, but a rake of reels scrapes and kneels to something in the blood. Something there that's bubbling and hungry to be fed. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, reeling in my head.